About 30 seconds, guys. Now you hear these ads? The, these ads that you're hearing right now, yeah. that's just somebody that's that it. made their ad. Yeah. See? Yeah. So they're very professionally made and it's really great. You're going to enjoy it and um, I can't wait to have you in to do it because you're going to have a lot fun. of fun. Yeah. It's fun to do. And we can make a couple of them. We can even make, you have 64 of them, you can have make four of one just yeah. for once. We'll talk about it. I'll get it. I'll get it together. I'll send you some uh, scripts. Okay. Now you're in. the show everyone I love my show and I do say it almost every show and the reason why I say it is because first of all it's such great information for people out there networking is all about telling it might be you or someone that you know so you tell someone about it that's what networking is all about my first guest has been on with me now several times I have with me Todd Jarman and he is the owner of Jarman Insurance welcome to the show again and I want you to tell everybody a little bit about you what you specialize in because you are a little different you can work with people and nationwide practically I want you to talk a bit about yourself and kind of tell them what you do yeah, I, I think what makes me different is, um, I mean, a lot of people maybe focus on a couple different things, and that's about it, but as far as health insurance goes, it's pretty much everything with health, so from from diaper to diaper, basically, I heard that the other day, it sounds... That's interesting, that's interesting. a good one, we use that for your app. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to write uh, that down. I'm licensed in all 50 states, so you know, anybody that needs any help anywhere, I can... Help them out. Which is so important because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that live in different states. They come here sometimes and then they're gone. And a lot of things can happen. Why is it so important, you know, to work with someone like you that can help them in all 50 states? What could happen if they go and they don't ha have the right insurance for someone or another state that they live in? I mean, it happens a lot because we get a lot of snowbirds in the wintertime. You know, they're, you know, in Minnesota and Know, Apache Junction, Mesa area, and um, you know if they are on the wrong plan and they got to go back and use it, and they find out, hey, I can't see my doctor, they're they're not going to be a happy camper. You know, they're not going to be happy about that. So just knowing how the plans work in both states, you know, it's been nine years. You know, I'm well versed in those companies that are in those states and can usually help them out pretty well. Another thing that I want to talk about is that it's a free service. Yes. People, you know, I don't know why, a lot of times people, they will go ahead and uh, call your 800 number, or they call, they get the ads, they're, they're inundated. Once you st start turning, I think it's like 62 or 63, that just, yeah. just keeps on coming. Yeah. And sometimes people call, and they don't realize, why is it so important to call somebody that's local here? I mean, just knowing the market here is a big one, but also knowing, hey, the person I'm using, um, you know, they live here. You know, I had a client that I've been working with on the phone, and uh, in fact, this happened yesterday, and she sent me a text. It's like, hey, I got this thing from, from Social Security. I don't know what's going on, and I happen to be in Gold Canyon. I'm like, hey, I'm like five minutes from you. I'm leaving a meeting. I'll just come over. Is that okay? She's like, oh, yeah, come on over, and, you know, help her out. Like, Isn't that How are you going to get that from someone on, on the TV? Right. Um, They're not going to know who you are. And the other thing is, is that they only work with one carrier, and you don't. No, I pretty much do every carrier you think of. Yeah, that you can think of. He works yeah. state, not only statewide, he works nationwide, so he can help you in all 50 states. Uh, his phone number to call direct, it's 480-255-1076. It's jarmaninsurance.com. I want to talk today a little bit about uh, under 65, people that are uh, younger than me. Okay, people's under 65. Let's talk a little bit about them and what goes on and how you can help them. Because a lot of people out there, especially with this, we've got this election, we've got all this stuff going on, all this uh, crazy stuff going on. 
Um, and people don't know what to do. A lot of people will just go online. What are your thoughts? Yeah, first thing people do probably is they, they go on the marketplace, healthcare.gov, and they check out plans and they're like, wow, these are expensive. Wow, these deductibles are high. And, you know, either they just, I, I, had, a, I had a, excuse me, um, you know, I had someone that said they spent three hours on the marketplace trying to sign up. I don't know what they were doing, but it's not the easiest thing to use. But, um, you know, that's usually their first encounter on that. So they think it's expensive, and they're like, well, either I take it and pay it, or I just go insured. And so my job is to help you figure out how to get the cheapest insurance in the marketplace or find someone off exchange that will help you out. I think for you, too, what you can help them with is those deductibles, right? Yeah. A lot of people don't know. I think the last time you were here, you were talking about something with the, uh, the marketplace and how expensive they are, and people turn around and they don't realize. They just pay, and they don't realize that if they go through someone like you, you can help them find something cheap. I don't want to say cheaper. That's not the right word. Less but expensive. Less expensive. More affordable. More affordable. How's that? There goes my brain. Okay. Um, you know, and that's where you come in. Absolutely. So um, it goes off your income, your household size. And so a lot of people either don't even put that information in or they don't put it in correctly. And that can make a, a huge difference on that. So and, yeah. people that are under 65, listen to here. I mean, because, you know, senior season's coming up. Senior season is coming up, and it's your big season. And those times, you, you, there are certain times when you can do what you need to do with that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but for people under 65, anyone who is listening to this, whether it's you or someone that you know, have them call you know, Todd and have a conversation with him. It's free for you to do, and he can actually direct you. You're going to be so happy. Ha tell, do you have a story of somebody that might have, uh, that you've worked with lately, where they were on the marketplace and they, they, they were about ready to do something and you were able to get them to, uh, to a lower uh, a rate? Oh, yeah, the, the one that was on there for three hours, you know, they, you know, once I got it all situated for them, it was like, oh, it took like 10 minutes and they're all set up and it was cheaper. And it was just like a huge, it was such a stressful thing for her. Does it start with a person's story? You said it depends on how many, uh, their house. did you say how big their house is? Yeah, your household size and income. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. So um, it, everybody's got a certain story too, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's health is different, yeah. right? So no, there's not one, it's not a cookie cutter. No. So mm -hmm. how does it look like when you speak to them, when they call you, what does it look like? Yeah, first thing is like, okay, how many in your household, okay? What's your yearly household income? You know, where do you guys live? You have any doctors? And basically from there, we can see, okay, here's about what kind of subs are you gonna get in the marketplace. Now we have all the plans. Now it's like, okay, well, are you worried about anything? Have you seen a lot of doctors? Do you have a surgery coming up? Like, what's, like, are you pregnant? Like, that kind of stuff, because all the plans have different co-pays and co-insurance, and that can make a huge difference on what, that plan might be really cheap, but you might spend a couple thousand you know, extra going in the hospital having a kid versus another one. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, uh, that's very important because I, even though my, my ex is older than 65, he had that same situation where he needed to go into the hospital. He wanted to see if he can get somebody to yeah. help him. And, uh, you know, that's what they need. If you need people like you who are there and uh, to be able to make sure that you're covered correctly, mm -hmm. right, so that you're not shocked <laughs> you know, shocked, yeah. shocked. You don't want that to happen. So again, it's a free service to you. What about special enrollment that's all year round? Yeah, so the normal marketplace uh, enrollment is going to be November 1st to the end of January. But there's also going to be off exchange plans that you can get. They're going to be year round. So, and I would tell people this, it's like if you, if you make too much money to qualify for a subsidy, um, let's look at something, something off exchange. You know, because if you get a, a subsidy in the marketplace, you can get something pretty cheap. But uh, that's year-round off exchange. So, you know, middle of the year, you can sign up for it. I'm going to say this, too. Um, sometimes cheap. Sometimes cheap is good. I like cheap and cheerful. I do. But sometimes you need to be careful when it comes to your insurance and make sure that you're doing it correctly. Because if you don't, it could be silly that you paid less money when you 
end up paying more yeah. out of pocket, right, when yeah. things happen. So the best thing to do is to give him a call. He does free consultations, everything he does. It's a free service to you. He's been doing this for nine years, and he works nationwide. And I think that's what makes him different, is that he does work nationwide. His phone number to call, write it down. It's 480-255-1076. That's 480 480- 255-1076. His website is jarmaninsurance.com. We're going to go to a break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit further about all of this. Again, it's jarmaninsurance.com or call him at 480-255-1076. Hang tight. We'll be back in a bit in a minute. That kind of rolled off there. <laughs> so we're going to use this diaper to diaper. I think that would be fun. Right? I just heard that like yesterday or something. It was like loud. Well, yeah, we'll use that. That'd be kind of fun. Diaper, diaper. Mm -hmm. Now, in, for you, we're, we're live on Facebook right now. Um, what, how many times when you talk to somebody and they have, a, well, some people have no clue what to do. Yeah. Let's say they've gone online and they've done it and they've, they've yeah. picked a plan. Yeah. Can you change that for them? Oh, like they've already chosen a plan? Oh, yeah, it happens a lot. And I'll look at it and say, hey, we need to go over this plan, you know, we might have to look at this. Um, yeah, it doesn't happen that often. Most people are just like, they, they don't, don't even, they know, don't even know. But some every once in a while, like, hey, I saw this plan. So you do do second opinions if you had to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I know, like, hey, like, because I'll do a needs analysis and be like, hey, like, what are you going to, what do you have What's coming up? What's a needs up? analysis? That's just basically going over everything that they need, they, they need, you know. What Let's your, talk about that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to help you a little bit here. Okay. So those are the things that when I say to you, Carol, what's a, I mean, Carol, uh, Todd, when I speak with you, when I call you, what's it look like? But Carol, I do what it's called a needs analysis, okay? Yeah. I go over everything that they need, right? See, that's kind of what I like to do. Yeah. Narrow and deep. That's every single thing, because otherwise you're just throwing right. out some random things. 90 seconds. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. And just... Please don't tap the mic stand. Sorry. I know it's yeah. unconscious. I move mean, a lot too when I That's why I was like, I put my hands down here. Yeah, you can, yeah. you know, whatever. Just sit on them. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you got to do. Yeah, some people do that. So. Another woman, the one that I was here just listening to her ad, yeah. and she wears something on that. She does it too. Oh, yeah. yeah. You probably hear that clunk, clunk, clunk. Well, they try yeah. and figure what they do on that, their end to try and not help that, but it's. it's <laughs> and then they'll go over and he's like, oh, <laughs> I have it a lot. It's okay. Oh, man. Yeah. You been busy? I've been super busy. How many busy. kids do you have? Just one. Okay. Yeah. And how old did you? I remember I saw He's a picture eight. of you. Eight. He'll be nine in October. For some reason, I thought I saw one that was younger. No, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't you. Eight. Baby. Does he do? I take one. So it was one that's it? Yeah. But he, he races dirt bikes and stuff. He does? Lot. Yeah. He loves it. My wife and him actually took off, went to Colorado for a motocross camp, and then came back through Gallup and did a race, and he won the race. Like, all with, I had to work. Oh. They just went on a little trip, mom and, mom and son. I'm proud. He's like, Mom, let's just get a van. Let's just go race across the country. That's awesome. And she likes to do it, too? Oh, she loves it. Well, she doesn't ride, but she loves like, doing like, Oh, people. wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So welcome back, everyone. We're talking about insurance for people under 65. We're talking about that right now because everybody, if you're under 65, you need to have it. We should have insurance, yes, right? And uh, if it's a free service to you, it just makes sense to speak to somebody that can help you. You know, um, I know so many people, they go up online, right? And they just do it themselves. And they don't know what they don't know, right? And one of the biggest things is that you start paying, you see that their they're, they're deductible's high, right? So you either, you said they either decide to just bite the bullet and buy it, yep. or go without insurance. they go without insurance. Yeah. And that's not a good thing to do. Not really smart, yeah. No. But people gotta make that decision. Right. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about, we, said, we were saying that you do what's called a needs analysis. So someone calls you up, they tell you, hey, I'm, I'm, they got to tell you your story, right? That's yeah. what they got to talk about. What is a needs analysis? What do you do during that? Um, 
all the major stuff. So it's it's like, hey, you know, you married, you have kids. What's your current insurance like, if any? Um, do you have anything planned coming up? You know, any surgeries? Any past surgeries? Um, you plan on having kids? Um, you know, yearly income. All that stuff goes into that needs analysis to kind of figure out what plan's going to work best if no one's going on the same plan. Right. No. And again, we want to tell people that he does work nationwide. This is what makes him different. And you're versed in every single state. Um, you've been doing this for nine years. And people need to know that when you do travel um, or when you go out of state, you need to make sure that you're covered correctly. It yeah. happens sometimes. What's the, what's, give me a story really quickly of somebody that went out of state and got themselves in an issue. Well, it's, I can think of, of, of more than a few from last annual enrollment, but people that change their plans, they come to Arizona, and then they go back to like Minnesota, Wisconsin, and it's just like, it's a nightmare. They go see their doctor, they show that card, they're like, oh, we don't accept that. Mm -hmm. Well, now what? What do you do? You call the agent, you call Medicare, make a complaint. It's not, it's usually I get those like, oh, we're so mad about this. Like, okay, here's what we did wrong. Here's what you need to have. You know, we can change it back to your old stuff, or we can do this, and this will work for both states, whatever they want to do. See, that's awesome. Yeah. And that's what we want to make sure they do when you speak to somebody, especially if you live in dual states, or if you travel a lot, you want to make sure that you are covered correctly. It's a free service to you. It just makes sense to speak to somebody who is here local, number one, and who can work in all 50 states, and that's what he does. Uh, his phone number is 480 255 1076. That's 480 255 1076. His website is jarmaninsurance.com. I want to talk about people with complications. Can you help them? Yeah, so in the marketplace, there's no health questions. So if you are worried about, hey, are they going to take me? Well, the marketplace has to take They you. have to take you no matter, take you, no matter okay. what. Yeah, they can only discriminate based on age, gender, and tobacco status. Okay. Oh, so, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so they can have cancer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, actually, it's one of my my good friends I've known in insurance for a long time. His wife actually all of a sudden came down with, with cancer, and we had to get her on a plan. And I had to you know, reassure, hey, like, they're not going to, they're going to cover her. Like, don't you worry. And they've been covering her. And, in fact, he actually messaged me the other day that, you know, she's now cancer-free. Uh -huh. And it was great, and I was just, it was just good to help them out. It's nice yeah, to yeah. know that you are covered. That's a very yeah. important thing. A lot of people, especially with complications, it doesn't have to be cancer, diabetes, or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, but okay, so that's good to know. Yeah. Um, fully insured versus, uh, what's it say, level funded, or what does that say? Yeah, level funded like, versus self funded. Yeah, so like I, I, I wrote that down because. Um, the other day I was helping out a company, the, the head of benefits, and they're like, what is like self-funded versus level funded and all this? Because they see this on their insurance. So like, you got three or more employees, you buy insurance for your employees. And so just to kind of understand, like when you're an employer, you buy insurance, um, all of that premium that you're paying is going into a pot to pay for claims with that group. So if you're self-funded, that money that's coming in is actually not going into a pot, you're actually, the, the company is actually paying it out of their own coffers, you know, they're paying, hey, someone had to go to the hospital, they're paying that basically from the premiums. Level funded is where it's going into that pool and all the claims of that group are coming out of that pool first before it goes to the stop loss of insurance, which is going to be who pays in excess of that. But it basically makes it easier for a company to say, hey, we're not going to have to fork out money to pay for these claims. It's all it's all going to a pot and those are paying and the insurance company, whatever you're using, the third party administrator, they're taking care of all of that. So it sounds like it's an, a better way for businesses, business owners to be able to offer insurance to their employees. Yeah, and this makes it easier like, hey, because I've, I've talked to people where it's like, hey, you know, I can't really afford to do it and pay it out of our own account or whatever it is, but like, hey, if you do it level funded, you know, it's going into a fund, it's going to get paid, and hopefully we, you know, the company has done their due diligence with the underwriting where it's going to be enough, and we, we may even get a refund after the year, which it does happen. Really? Yeah. That's kind of nice yeah. to know. Yeah. Now, um, how a group plan is 
what you're writing built. How do you, uh, yeah, how do we, there you go, I got yeah, it. Yeah, how it's built up. Read, yeah, this is a really interesting. You're a doctor, really, at this <laughs> Probably interesting to me, but I've had to explain this a lot in the last, like, six months. But, like, if you're if you're going to a company like Signal, let's say, they are going to be your, your insurance company, okay? So they're handling claims, they're handling the network, they're doing everything. But most groups are going to be, you know, self-funded or level-funded and it's going to be a company putting together a plan. So they're going to have a third-party administrator that handles all the claims. They're going to have a network that are renting, and then it all goes together. And those are really good because the third-party administrator, they're actually working for the company. They're helping you save as much money as possible. So the insurance company, obviously they're doing it for themselves, but the third-party administrator basically works for you. They're handling claims and doing lot, all that stuff. And most, almost all, almost every time, it's going to be less expensive for the company doing it that way. But the third party minister pays all the claims, does everything, and then the company basically builds the plan and like has it like that. So, so if you own a business, I think you can also help them as well. Absolutely, yeah, all the time, yeah. And and a lot of times companies just go online. They'll they'll get set up on a certain you know like Banner Aetna, the go with Cigna. And they don't do any shopping around, and there's massive differences in, in premiums between companies. And the ones that I use, you know, a lot of, sometimes you can you can save two, three hundred dollars per person in that in that company, and that's real money for that company. Absolutely, you know? I, yeah. this is why I think it's important for people to listen to the show, <laughs> is yeah. because the information that they get, and you know. I've said it so many times, I said it earlier today, you don't know what you don't know. When you hear something like this, a lot of times, like say people go up on the, onto their, you know, to the exchange or whatever, and they, like you said, they just go and they do it. Yeah. They don't know the difference, so they're probably paying a lot more money. I had asked you um, earlier, do you ever do second opinions? Oh yeah, it's, you know, people every once in a while come to me and say, hey, I already know what I want, can you sign me up for it? Like, those are easy, but it's like, hey, let me just take a look real quick here, do a needs analysis, because sometimes they may have overlooked something. Hey, like, you know the copay for a hospital stay is gonna be this amount. Um, it could be any prescriptions, you can check your prescriptions. Oh, I didn't do that, well, let's look at prescriptions. It's, it's a tier two or tier three. We gotta look at something else. You know, it's interesting. I just, it just hit my head. How many times we talk about people who are older, the seniors, and their prescriptions? But you don't have to be a senior to need prescriptions, no. right? No. I mean, and I, it makes, hello, <laughs> you know, really. And there's a lot of people who are on prescriptions that are younger, you know. And yeah. what is, uh, and there's tears for those as well. It's tears for anything, right? Yeah. So somebody, let's say, comes in and they're taking, what is the, well, is, is it, <clears throat> excuse me, they could also be on insulin. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty common. You know, they're on like a like a you know Jardians, Genuvia, some sort of pill. You know that that's common. What about people who have, um, you know, they might have anxiety issues and they have they're on all of this medication. SSRIs, anti-anxiety medications. They can they can get covered because yeah. you know a lot of, even though if they because that's what a lot of people used to be where they and they want to be able to get it affordably. Yeah. I think that's the other part too. Right? Yeah, they want to get it affordably and, and that can be there could be huge differences on the marketplace and other plans on hey like uh, or search or lean or whatever is going to be, you know, $10 versus this one's going to be $40. Those are the kind of stuff like you can't just say, "Hey, I'm going to sign you up for what you want." You're like, "Just give me a minute here. Let's just figure this out and just double check and make sure it's the best." Right. I yeah. mean, it's so important. I, mean, I never think about that because you always think about seniors taking medication and yeah. how expensive it is. But it's just as expensive for younger folks, and it's probably even harder for them, too. You know, seniors are on fixed incomes. Yeah. But, you know, today in this world that we're living in, the economy with the money being tight for everybody, you should all make sure that you're getting the right uh, the right formula for your situation, right? Isn't yeah. that what they call yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so again, he works statewide and he also works nationwide. This is also important for you to know that, that he can help somebody in any state. For, and for people that are listening right now, what would be your final words for them listening, people that are under 65? I would say if you're unhappy with your insurance and you just want a second opinion, like it doesn't hurt to just double check it. I have I have friends, I had a friend reach out to me yesterday, hey, I have, I have a plan with my group and I'm thinking about maybe changing or something. You know, what's it gonna be like if I do go off marketplace and all that stuff? And, and like, you know, 
I can tell you, hey, you got the best plan possible, stay on it, or hey, here's some options, your choice. You know? It's a free service to you. It just makes sense to speak to somebody, especially with the experience that he has nine years of that. And again, he works nationwide. That's also what makes him different. His phone number to call is 480-255-1076. Don't do it yourself. I mean, people try and do it all the time by themselves. If you need a second opinion, he's here to help as well. Uh, you want, want to check him out on his website. It's jarmaninsurance.com. I would say give him a call. It's the most important thing. 65 and under right now, especially when we've got the seniors coming up. That's their senior too. But 65 and under, he can help you so well. That number is 480 255 1076. I'm going to trim that off real quickly. Now, for the next time, when you come, we're going to come in, we're going to, right? Let me write say it, so I'm just making sure I'm, I've got this right. The one in October is the one that's going to be the... Um, recorded. The recorded one. So when you come in here, what I'm going to do is when you come in here on your September one, mm -hmm. do you want it to be about seniors? Do you want it to be about both?